time to try to find gravity I think I'll try to find gravity Kiss me goodbye I'm defying gravity I'm oh, unlucky oh, ball Oh yeah Father God I thank you I hope so. Today I have a wonderful, I mean a wonderful topic for all of you. But first before I enter today's discussion, I just want to pray for all of you. Lord, I thank you for people watching my channel this time. Lord, I pray for your presence, your glory, your favor, your blessings upon their life as they watch this video, Lord. Touch their hearts and mind. Free their minds and hearts from every burden which the devil had cast upon them. Lord, as I start, begin with me, end with me. This and many more I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Guys, did you all feel that prayer? I hope so. Before we get down to business, let me feel myself. I just want to take a selfie. Please, one, please. One more guys. And another more. And another one. Okay. Selfie. Because guys, if I continue to take selfie, we are not going to move from here today. Okay. What are we here for today? Today I'm going to be outlining and discussing some Ukrainian superstitions. What is superstition? Well, according to my own dictionary, even though I didn't even anyone, but according to my own dictionary, a superstition is a belief or practice that is irrational. It arises from ignorance, a misunderstanding of signs, or casualty, etc. 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 I'm gonna leave it at that. You can search the rest on the internet. <laughs> Well, you greet you greet as you all know Ukraine is a country in Eastern Europe. As you can see, it's where your baby is right now. So guys, not the words much of the time, you can get straight into the V D O O O <laughs> Superstition One. Never pass anything across a Ukrainian doorstep. When visiting a Ukrainian friend, do not pass anything. It could be a rock, it could be a flower pot, just anything. Do not pass anything across a doorstep, a Ukrainian doorstep. It is so because during the ancient times, the ashes of their ancestors were buried under the doorstep. So that's just the belief, that's just the reason. So once you have a Ukrainian friend and then you happen to go and visit her, do not pass anything across that step, that little step. <laughs> that's it guys. I don't know if you understand that, but if you don't, well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Superstition number two. Two, two, two. Never give a watch as a present. Even today in the 21st century, Giving a watch as a present in Ukraine is like inappropriate. This video started from China where giving a watch as a present is considered as an invitation to a funeral. But the only consideration is that once a person gave you a watch as a present, in return you gave that person a coin, which means that you yourself bought the watch. So that's it. Now we are heading for superstition number three <laughs> never eat from a knife yes you heard me right never eat from a knife in ukraine it is believed that a knife represents a sacred meaning once you eat from a knife it is believed that you will become an angry person i mean angry like the way i'm angry <laughs> sorry guys 
it means that you will become an angry person. For them, they believe that a knife is not just a tool of labor, but also a strong magical instrument. So they believe that it should be treated very special. That's it. That's it. So now we are going to superstition number four. Never celebrate the 40th anniversary. 40 years is the only date that is not celebrated in Ukraine. Especially, I mean especially when it comes to men. Such belief arose because of its connection between the number 40 and death. This is so because during a time in Ukrainian history, the bodies of the deceased were checked for imperishability and the deadline for such period was within 40 days. Until now, the number 40 associated with funeral traditions. Never come back halfway. If you return from home and you happy to cross the threshold of your door, do not go back halfway. It is considered as bad luck in Ukraine. The threshold serves as a boundary between the two worlds. So, like, if you maybe like cross the threshold of your door and they say, "Oh, I have forgotten something," it's like you have not fulfilled certain plan. So it's like bad luck in the typical Ukrainian setting or society. So never come back halfway. Once you enter, you should go because if you like enter, you are like fulfilling a goal. But if you decide to stop halfway, it's like you have not achieved that goal. Now let's go to the next superstition. Knock on the root. This is left one of the most important superstitions that is posted and frequently practiced in Ukraine. People knock on the wood in order to get rid of evil eye. This is a superstition that has really grown in Ukraine over the years. It has grown to the extent that even nowadays, if people don't see a wood nearby, they usually use their hair. During ancient times, people normally knock on wood because it was believed that if you touch a wood, you touch Jesus Christ who was crucified on a wooden cross. Also, it is also believed that knocking on wood helps prevent you or gives you protection from evil forces. Now, how many times must you knock on wood? Three times. Ukrainians knock on wood three times because it is believed that three is a lucky number for Christians, which represent the deity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, the final superstition. Now, guys, the final Ukrainian superstition is have a seat before the journey. Ukrainians believe that before you embark on a particular trip or journey, you should first have a seat, relax yourself, and enjoy yourself. Why must you do this? It helps prevent evil spirits or home spirits from clashing on you and hindering you, hindering you from having a successful trip or journey. Now, they do have a seat in order to confuse such spirits from following them or making their trip unsuccessful or not successful. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you were able to learn something different about Ukrainian culture and that of your culture. That is, if you are in Ghana, Nigeria, Nigeria, Africa, Western part of Europe or whatever, so I just decided to share something different, you know. As you all know, I love to talk about culture, 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 culture. So, guys, I mean, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and please, I mean, please subscribe, guys. I need your subscription, okay? Share with us, sugar, sugar. See you on the next video. See you on the next video. Next time, I love you. Bye bye.
Unconditional. 